Hello friends, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss application of public key cryptography or we can say application of asymmetric key cryptography topic of network security. Before discuss about application of public key cryptography, uh, what is public key cryptography? In public key cryptography, there are two different keys used for encryption and decryption. So we can say there are pair of keys are used. One is public key and second one is private key. Public key is shared with all the users in the network and private key remain private to the particular user. Now, how to achieve confidentiality in public key cryptography? Now, see this figure. This is sender and this is receiver. So, we can say it is source A and this is destination B. A message source. So, this is X is the original, original message and original message will be sent by the sender to the receiver. So, before sending this message, encryption algorithm is used and it generates ciphertext. Now, what is the input of encryption algorithm? Encryption algorithm input is original plain text message and PUB. PUB is public key of B. Now, here you can see in the figure, this is key pair source. It means uh, there are two key will be generated at the destination or we can say receiver side. One is public key of the receiver or destination. Uh, public key will be shared with the sender and private key remain secret. Now, here y is equal to encryption of PUBX. It means x will be encrypted using the public key of B and it generates ciphertext. Now, ciphertext will be sent to the receiver side. Now, we can say this ciphertext will be decrypted by only one and only key, private key of B. Now, uh, here decryption algorithm is used. Uh, input of the decryption algorithm is ciphertext Y and private key B. It generates original plain text X and uh, read by the destination. It means any of the user in the network which is connected to the source A and destination B will not decrypt this message. So, as per the definition of confidentiality, we can say a message should be known by only sender and receiver. It means achieve confidential. Next, how to achieve authentication in public key cryptography? Now, see this figure. This is the source A. We can say it is sender and destination B. It is receiver. Uh, source or we can say sender. Sender wants to send data to the receiver. Now, message source. Uh, this is X is the original plain text. So, input of the encryption algorithm is original message and original message will be encrypted by private key of sender because this is PRA. Now, it generates ciphertext Y. Now, you can see this equation. Now, Y will be put on the secure communication channel. So, this message will be received by all the network user. So, we can say uh, decryption algorithm is used at the receiver side and uh, during the decryption algorithm uh, input is Y, ciphertext Y and public key of A. So, all the users on the network who have public key of A that all the users uh, decrypt that data. Here, destination decrypt the data using the public key of A. So, as per the definition of authentication, we can say uh, receiver can uh, receive the data and check whether data was sent by original sender or not. So, uh, using this figure, we can achieve authentication in public key cryptography. Now, check next diagram. Here, in next diagram, this is sender and this is receiver. Sender sends original message. So, before sending this message, it is uh, encrypted by encryption algorithm. So, here uh, there are two encryption algorithm is used. Using first encryption algorithm, the input of the encryption algorithm is original message X and private key A. We can say it is uh, private key of the sender. So, it generates ciphertext Y. Uh, in second encryption algorithm, input is first generated ciphertext Y and it will be encrypted using the public key of B. We can say it is the receiver's public key. It generates final ciphertext Z. Z will be sent to the receiver and receiver first use the decryption algorithm. It will be decrypted by private key of B because 
लास्ट एनक्रिप्शन इज डन बाय पब्लिक की ऑफ बी सो प्राइवेट की ऑफ बी डिक्रिप्टेड एंड इट्स जनरेट्स वाई वाई विल बी अगेन डिक्रिप्टेड यूजिंग द पब्लिक की ऑफ ए इट जनरेट्स ओरिजिनल मैसेज एक्स सो हियर वी कैन से वी विल अचीव कॉन्फिडेंशियलिटी एंड यूजिंग दिस की पेयर वी विल अचीव ऑथेंटिकेशन so we can say here confidentiality and authentication are achieved in this figure next application of public key cryptography uh, application of public key crypto system are classified into three categories first one is encryption decryption, uh, decryption. so uh, this application will be also apply at symmetric key cryptography so encryption decryption during this process the sender encrypt the message with the receiver's public key second one digital signature during this process the sender signs the message with his private key so we can say this is uh, using encryption decryption we can achieve confidentiality using digital signature we can achieve authentication key exchange both sender and receiver cooperate to exchange a session key typically for conventional encryption now exercise which of the following figure provides authentication only and which provides confidentiality only now this is figure 1 and this is figure 2 where m is the plain text in both the figure e is the encryption function d is the decryption function pra and prb are private keys of source a and destination b respectively while pua and pub are the public keys of source a and destination b so you have to find which figure provides confidentiality and which figure provides authentication so write your answer in comment section thank you for watching this video please like share and comment subscribe my channel on youtube chirag balodia press bell icon to get new video notification follow my blog edu resources thank you